In this quick start guide, we learn about installing Helios software on Windows. Additional installation details are provided in the Helios Base Manual. All Helios manuals are available on the Helios website or installation CD. To get started, request a Helios installation CD from your Helios partner. To prepare your Windows system, make sure that the Java 1.4.2 or newer runtime is installed. If not, it is a free download from the Java website. Also needed is Active Perl 5.8 or later. It is a free download from the Active State website. Now you can insert the Helios Installer CD. In the Windows folder on the CD, double-click the file heliosinstaller.exe. If you are installing on an older version of Windows, and the Helios Installer complains about missing libraries or a damaged installation, then first run this file from the Helios Installation CD. Continuing with the Installer, read the introduction. Click Continue and read the license agreement. Click Continue. Select the products you wish to install. We suggest installing all products to make it easy to test all features. Click Install. The final screen shows the startup status. You can optionally check the Helios website to see if any updates have been released since the installation CD was issued. If so, Contact your Helios partner for download access. The update installation procedure is explained in the Helios Base Manual. The initial installation is that simple. To verify, you can use the Windows Computer Management application to verify that all Helios services are running and to stop or start Helios services if needed. The program is now running in three-hour demo mode. If you have been provided demo keys, navigate to the Helios installation directory. In the bin subdirectory, launch the license.exe program. Enter the key information. The new keys take effect the next time Helios services are restarted. Now launch Helios Admin, which is in the Helios Public Windows directory. Log in as a user who is a member of the Windows Administrators group to be granted full administrative rights. Helios Admin is used to configure all Helios server settings. First, we will use Helios Admin to view the system messages in order to check the Helios startup messages. Click on the List System Messages menu. Normally, there are just routine startup messages and the WebShare login URL. Make a note of the WebShare login for later testing. Now that the installation is verified, we should set up some Helios volumes. Using Windows Explorer, create and share some data SharePoints such as those shown here. Back in Helios Admin, click the Volumes tab. All Windows shares are listed and are available as Helios volumes. Three default 
Helios volumes are also listed, but are grayed out because they are not yet defined as Windows shares. To enable network access to these volumes, use either the Windows Explorer or the Computer Management Program to enable sharing. From this point on, there should be no need for any direct server access. All administration can be performed from any network client via Helios Admin. So log out and go to a Mac or Windows client. First, let's test WebShare. Open a web browser and enter your Helios server's host name, followed by colon 2009. If that does not work, use the URL that you noted earlier from the system messages. WebShare is very easy to use. See the WebShare Quick Start videos and the WebShare Manual for more details. From a Windows client, use the Windows Explorer to view the network volumes in My Network Places. Select the Windows Server and Authenticate. Navigate to the Helios Apps SharePoint to access Helios Admin as well as all the manuals. Helios Admin can be used to configure additional Helios volumes, set up and monitor network printer queues, as well as configure hot folders and automated workflows. Now let's quickly set up some script server automated hot folders. Use the Helios Admin Scripts tab to configure script server scripts and hot folders and to monitor and manage jobs. Click the plus sign to set up a new script. Select the splitpdf.pl script and assign it to a folder to create a hot folder. Save. Now when multi-page PDF files are saved to the hot folder, they will be split into single-page PDFs. Sharing hot folders via WebShare allows remote staff and customers to utilize script server automation. In addition to the many included sample script server scripts, you can use Helios Script Assistant, found on the Helios Applications volume, to automatically create your own custom hot folder scripts for script server workflow automation. Here we use Script Assistant to create a script to automate a hot folder to accept images of any type and create RGB JPEG copies ready for use in web pages for example, for catalog previews. Simply launch Script Assistant and select the desired options. Once the script is saved to the Helios Settings volume, use Helios Admin to assign the script to a hot folder. Users or applications can then save images to the hot folder for automatic conversion. The installation checklist List the various applications and plugins that provide additional capabilities to users. Be sure to install the Helios TCP printer driver on Mac clients to properly test printing to Helios TCP print queues. Congratulations! You just installed a sophisticated, high performance, cross platform print server with advanced image processing. PDF production, workflow automation, and proofing capabilities.
The Helios website contains extensive product and support information. Here are some links for some of the resources already mentioned. That's how you do it. See the other Helios Quick Start Guides to learn more about using Helios solutions, including proofing and Helios WebShare.